That's a crazy big shrimp. Where'd you come from? I know you can't get a perspective because I can't like, put anything in the tank, but that's a big cherry shrimp. He's huge. Behind him is another cherry shrimp. Can you see it? There's one right behind it. Or baby. There's one. Fish tank's doing pretty good. Good morning, Eddie. <laughs> good morning, Mia. You gonna get up today or are you just gonna stay on the couch all day? Hmm? Yeah. Maxie's been up for like an hour. Maxie, good morning. It's a beautiful day out. Rained last night, which is good. Rained good for us. Max lives out here all summer. He comes and gets me in the morning and is really lovey, but all he wants me to do is come open the door so he can come outside. Good morning, Mia. This place is a mess. Really need somebody really needs to clean up around here. Somebody likes soft waffles. So she puts them in the microwave for a few seconds to soften them. Um, how many, um, Maybe eight or nine seconds, you pick. Okay. You doing the waffle dance? Waffle dance, waffle dance. I make big batches of homemade waffles and freeze them. I'm glad you like your waffles. And I'm glad you don't like syrup on them. It's perfect. The best gluten-free waffle mix. I've tried to make them from scratch, but this is the best one. This King Arthur, I make it into waffles. Um, I've, you can also make it from scratch with the King Arthur all-purpose flour, but this is the best gluten-free flour for waffles I have found. And I've tried a lot. I still use Pamela's for um, uh, pancakes. Waffles, King Arthur. They have a recipe for their waffle mix if you want to use the all-purpose flour on their website. But if not, use this and it's pretty good. It's got a little more sugar in it and I don't add the sugar into this recipe, but no big deal. Are you guys chasing a moth? Mmm. Protein. Whew, 
Good morning, everybody. Oh my gosh, day two of vlogging again. What's wrong with me? What's, uh, what's wrong with you all? <laughs> Are you cozy, Mia? Max? Um, I do my oh, hi, snow leopards. They're gonna come out here with Mia, Max? Uh, like okay. Cute. So this is my camera that I film stationary stuff at or I do photography with. So I'm trying to vlog with it. It's totally new for me. It's heavy, <laughs> it's very heavy. Um, but I did buy a wide angle lens to try and vlog. Hopefully, I put a new mic on it today. Come here, Theo. The dog wants to come. I gotta get the pallets out. These things. I had them out yesterday. Pickup was supposed to be between eight and five. They didn't come. At about 3.30 they called me and said, okay, we've outsourced your pickup. It'll be between 10 and two. So I gotta get them out. I'm gonna roll them. I try and get them to the end of the driveway because it takes a little bit and I don't want the driver to have to wait. But it's kind of got a little bit of an uphill, so. Okay, so yesterday I put a little bit of video of our first camping trip and I realized after I went to go edit it, there was not nearly as much footage. I think I lost some clips or maybe cleared a card. So I'm gonna give you a little bit more information today because that was kind of a silly video. For those who are interested, here's the floor plan. Like I showed, there's a big slide out where the couch is right here, double bunk beds, and this is the Murphy bed over the sofa. Just gives you a basic idea of the layout. Let's go look at it. So we used to have what's called a jumping jack. It's like a, um, a canvas tent in a, a trailer that you can carry four wheelers on. It's not a pop-up, it's more just a canvas tent that had a couple beds in it. It didn't have any of the fancy features. Robert's been using that for, gosh, almost 10 years, maybe longer for camping. We decided to upgrade so that we could take the cats with us. And we wanna go more places for longer periods of time. But we also wanna be able to get down dirt roads and do dispersed camping, which is dry camping where you're not plugged into anything, where you're tucked away. And so we kinda of tried to find a trailer that was in between. One we could take down the dirt roads, but one that we still had a lot of the comforts. So this is what we got. 25 feet long. For those that are into campers, it's got its pluses and minuses, but it works really well for us. I think it's about, with um, all the stuff in it and water, it's around 5,500 pounds to tow, something like that. Let's go inside. Let's go inside. Now, like I said, this is a big slide out, so let's do that. There we go. Now we have a lot more room in here. Can you show everybody your bunk bed? Turn on the light there. Ooh. Is that your snow leopard? He likes He likes in the camper? Are they coming camping with us? Uh, yeah, they're like, uh, where we hug at? So like I said, I took the door off of this cabinet and put a litter box in there. I may cut a hole in the door if I can find a replacement cabinet door, but for now, it works. Bathroom, pretty standard. It's got actually a little bit of room, which is nice. Um, some of these, you're sitting on the toilet and your like, knees are against the wall. So it does have a little tub. I didn't think I was gonna use it, but the last camping trip, Addie, was, Addie and me both were so grimy at the end of the night, like with our feet, we just took a little mini bath each night, which was kind of nice because you don't want to track all that into the camper, right? My kitchen. There is a little island extension that you can put on here. I haven't used it yet. I'm going to take it this time. But here's the kitchen. Let me turn some lights on in here. Pretty basic. Got your sink. Cover on your sink to give you some more counter space. I've got a full stove, which I like, and I've cooked things in this already. It works. You still, I mean, it's <laughs> it gets really hot, so you have to be very careful. We do have a microwave. When we're dry camping, we can't use that. We have a nice refrigerator 
and um, this runs off of propane or electric so we can use this when we're dry camping. There's quite a bit of things you can't use in a camper when you're dry camping unless you run a generator which we don't like to do as much as possible. Um, the lights are all LED so they'll run when we're dry camping uh, but the water pump will run so you could run water through the faucets. The stove will work and the fridge will work. That's about it. Uh, the TV, the DVD player, um, electrical outlets, all that does not work when you're dry camping because you're running on a battery. You have to run the generator or be plugged into electricity. The slide out will go in and out on the batteries, but it'll run them out really quick. So you have to be careful. So would you like to see the bed? It's pretty easy to come down watch. When you're at the dealership, you're like, wow, that's so easy. But making it is a bit of a pain, which you kind of expect, but just as an FYI, making it is definitely not as easy as it is putting it up and down in the dealership. Or flatten the sofa, super easy. Come up here, unlock, unlock, and drop. Ta-da! That's the magic bed. Magic special bed, according to you. That is a short queen, so it's almost a queen. It's just a little shorter. Uh, the downside is again making it because you got to make the bed, do the latches, tuck everything in so it's not all hanging out and doesn't get caught. It's not terrible, but it's not as quick as the dealership. <laughs> Unlatch, pick up. So that's the trailer. I gotta uh, finish, start packing for camping. We're leaving tomorrow afternoon. Do you like the camper? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> Why? Does the snow leopards like the camper? Oh yeah, he's like, uh, I can go camping now. And we'll go tomorrow. So I'm sitting here, minding my own business. I'm still waiting for them to come pick up the pallets. I've been kind of like hovering outside, loading up the camper. And I'm sitting in the garage at the door, looking something up on my phone about where we're going camping. And I glance up and in around this corner strolls a bear and starting to sniff my garbage can could care less about me. I'm only like 20 feet away, 15 feet away. Just comes on in. I stand up. It kind of spooks it a little bit. It runs around the corner. I'm thinking it's gone. It's not. It goes just a few feet over there by the camper. So I take a picture. Here you go. And then I stomp, yell, and it runs off into the woods, scaring a deer that was over there. That was my blood pressure check of the day. Get your heart racing. Luckily the kid was inside, not playing out here. I didn't have the dog out. Can you believe that? This is what it's like living in the woods, apparently. They just stroll on in like they own the joint. Actually, that's a really young one. It's only about the size of Reese. And I think he's been wreaking havoc around here. He's a little too accustomed to people. Hey, the people who are supposed to pick up my pallet are over almost two hours late. I don't know what to do. Put him back in the garage again. So annoying. Hello. What? Are you hungry? Hello. Yes. Hello. Have I been working too long? Yes. Okay. Are you hungry too? Well, let's go. Okay. Let's eat. Oh. You're back into the small camera, which I'm sure the quality isn't quite as good. I don't know. I might actually be in focus a little better. But you're on the smaller camera. My arm needs a break. Oh, there's a bear. Holy moly, bear.
Okay, that's twice today. We've seen two bears at this house in the two and a half years we've been here, and I see two today, different ones. That's crazy. Both of them are young bears. That one's a little older than the one that came in my garage. He is a troublemaker. We've had pictures of him from people, and he's been getting in all kinds of trouble, getting into people's cars and things like that, so makes today seem a little bit better. It's been a, it's been a long day. Um, I had all these plans to get all the camping shopping done so that tomorrow morning I can get all the food ready and get everything done. And then my 10 to 2 pickup window completely went out the window and the guy didn't show up till 5.15. And I was grumpy because I hadn't eaten all day and ugh, things are better now. Kids being read to, we got to see a bear. We, they ran outside and saw it after I uh, filmed. Tomorrow we're going camping in the afternoon. I will bring you along. Today, not very eventful, but I'm enjoying vlogging, even if it's a little inconsistent and the, the flow isn't great, but I'm liking picking up the camera and editing and getting things going. So before I get too much video footage, let me go ahead and cut this short, pull the card out and do what I did yesterday. Go edit you and go to bed. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next one. Max, I'm supposed to cut the video out. What are you doing? You. You want me to play with the string with you? Yeah? He likes me to play fetch with strings. Do you know how hard it is to throw these? You ready? Ready? Here he comes. String fetch. Addie's gonna be mad at you if she was playing with this. You took it out of her toys. Do you want me to throw it? Do you want me to yeah. Oh, okay. Thank you.